Well, just when we thought we had heard it all, a New York school has made some pretty drastic changes to make it more of an inclusive environment. Grace Church School in NoHo in New York has offered students, staff and teachers a 12-page guide to change their habits. The $57,000 a year school wrote the new terms and arrangements from stopping the use of mum and dad and stopping asking peers where they went on a holiday. It also says students should refrain from wishing someone a Merry Christmas or a Happy New Year. It includes a table of instead of, at grace we say, to show students what to do. Some of the examples include changing mum and dad to grown-ups, folks or family, changing parents to grown-ups, folks, family and guardians, changing nanny or babysitter to caregiver or guardian, changing is adopted to was adopted, changing husband, wife, boyfriend or girlfriend to spouse, partner and significant other. Instead of asking what religion are you, say are any religious faith traditions important to you? Instead of what did you get for any holiday or what are you going to be for Halloween, instead ask do you celebrate holidays? And finally, changing Merry Christmas or Happy Holidays to have a great break. The new 2021 handbook was given to students to remove harmful assumptions from the way we interact with each other. It also states, while we recognise hateful language that promotes racism, misogyny, homophobia and other forms of discrimination are already addressed in our school handbooks, we also recognise that we can do more than ban hateful language. We can use language to create welcoming and inclusive spaces. The Grace Church School is an Episcopal school, so the Reverend said that the guide comes from our desire to promote a sense of belonging for all of our students. Some other examples used are, instead of assuming someone's transportation to school, ask how did you get to school today? Or instead of saying boys and girls, guys, ladies and gentlemen, say people, folks, friends, readers, mathematicians. And instead of teachers using names like sweetheart, honey or pet names, say the child's name or child or friend in the blue shirt.